Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm going to talk about California's kingpin to rear axle length limit, uh, other or more commonly known as the bridge law. Um, I've always heard this, you know, being in the trucking industry, but I never really uh, didn't really concern me prior to coming to Walmart. You know, I dealt with uh, shorter trailers, like a 48 foot fixed axle flatbed, uh, for example, is what I did my first couple years and then I was dealing with uh, you know pup trailers uh, doubles over the road for FedEx ground and so a lot of these things never really applied to me like uh, scaling a load you know um, but after coming to Walmart I realized you know they don't really like sit you down and educate you on this stuff you're an experienced driver you're professional you're supposed to know these things so if you don't know them you better look them up now, California's uh, bridge law states that from the kingpin to the center of the rear axle cannot be greater than 40 feet. So you have a 53 foot trailer, right? And from the kingpin to the nose of the tractor is three feet. That means from the kingpin to the rear of the trailer is 50 feet. And so if you adjust the center of the rear axle 10 feet from the tail of the trailer, that gives you um 40 feet exactly now you can side those tandems a little bit more to the to the front which would make the tail heavy taking weight off the nose so if you have a, a front heavy load you can do that that's about the only room for adjustment you have um when i got hired here i took a tape measure from the tail of a trailer and i brought it 10 feet out and i set my center of the rear axle right there and then I basically um, paced it out, heel to toe, and it was exactly 10 feet. And so I was like, okay, well, that means my shoe is exactly a foot. So from here on out, I don't carry a tape measure. I just pace out 10 steps, and that's how I track that to make sure I'm legal. Now, if I go to Nevada and I have a, a dispatch that's just to Nevada, I don't have to worry about bridge law, the 10-foot tail swing. I just have to worry that my um, weight limit per axles is legal. Another thing to look out for is the little sticker on the back side of the trailer that kind of suggests where to set your rear center axle up to. That's subject to human error. Somebody put that sticker there and I've seen them oftentimes in the wrong spot. Um, so do yourself a favor. If you're not familiar, Google your state and if there's a kingpin rear axle uh, law or length limit. And then... And then also, um, this does apply to 48 foot trailers as well. So I've heard from multiple people that it doesn't and I Googled it and it says it does. So the way that works is 48 foot trailer versus 53, it's five feet shorter. So the kingpin to rear axle is still maximum length 40 feet, which means if you just subtract the five foot difference in length of trailer, that means you're allowed to have a five foot tail swing. So you still need to uh, make sure that you pace out like your five steps right there. I've seen a couple guys leave the yard um, where I work at with the 48 foot trailer and his axles are all the way back. And if they're going over the grapevine, they're going through the scales, that's like rolling the dice. If, the, if you roll past that window and a DOT officer wants to pull you in, it's a violation right there. So pay attention to this stuff, um, make sure you comprehend it, you understand it, and put it to practice. And I uh, hope that saves somebody some headaches in the future, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.